The Browns stay in Cleveland following a loss to Kansas City in Week 9 and welcome the Atlanta Falcons, who are suddenly picking up speed with three straight wins. To say Atlanta is inconsistent would be an understatement, especially when you consider the Falcons are 2-6 and six ATS in their last eight games following a victory. Steve, make some sense for this matchup for us. Yeah, I think in this matchup we're going to see that the Cleveland defense just can't stop Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta, one of the best offenses in the NFL and one of the best offenses at keeping the chains moving. I've got them fourth in percent of their plays that are plus EPA. And I think that Cleveland defense, we talked about this last week, I think they continue to be overrated. Overall, I have them 20th on the season, but that's after a good start. They've played four good offenses the last four weeks and they're giving up 33.5 points per game. Yeah, Cleveland open as a 3.5 point underdog here. That's up to 4.5. It might even go up even higher here since we're at the dead number. Uh, early money's all on the Falcons, and the Falcons look great against Washington. They really did. However, I'm not overly buying into them. They haven't looked good on the road. This is their second straight road game. Uh, and if the spread does continue to climb, I'm going to be hesitant to play on Atlanta. Uh, Cleveland has some injuries piling up on defense here, too, so it's not going to help any with any of that stuff. Been gashed for 33.5 points over the last four games. The Browns' offense, though, did look a little more engaging, a little more riskier. They went for some two-point tries. And that makes the total an interesting play here, especially if Atlanta can put up some of the points that they did against Washington. Uh, open 51, it's down around 50 and a half now. Cleveland three and one over under in their last four games, mainly because they can't stop anybody. 